Hi, today I'm going to tell you very exciting stories, right? Uh, do you like drink? If you like to drink, maybe Korea is the one of the best city or especially best city or countries in around the world, right? Because uh, in Korea, especially in city, most of pubs and bars, they open until 3 a.m. and also uh, even on weekdays. And also there are a lot of convenience stores around your town and village. So you can buy any time for 24 hours. You can buy drinks, whatever you want. And the price for both uh, drinks and snacks are very cheap, right? So I can say, I dare say, uh, especially Seoul is a, a city for drinkers. But you might see one strange thing in Korea, rainy day, right? Uh, every rainy day, Korean people say, maybe they will say to you, uh, I will drink makgeolli, right? Do you know what makgeolli is? Makgeolli is a kind of a Korean traditional uh, brewing grain wine. So here I prepared uh, one kind of makgeolli. So see that? This is a uh, makgeolli. And then uh, you can see, okay, I'm going to show you uh, how to drink this one. First, so you should shake it very much because there are some powders on the bottom of the bottle. So first, you should shake it. And then next, you have to try to open the lid and uh, you should be very careful or it just uh, popped up around everywhere in the air, right? So you just uh, push the, this lid uh, a little bit and then you Five, should open. Five, four, three, wow. two, one, zero. <laughs> Okay, it's good, but, right, so I told you, you should be very careful, right? It sometimes it bumps up, and then I try to drink it a little bit. Mmm, it's sweet, it's very sweet, right? So, it tastes of sweet, it really kills me, and then especially the foreigners, even who comes to Korea first, they really like this one too. And then, Makgeolli has a very different uh, taste, so it depends on its ingredients. So like uh, you can see and you can taste like uh, chestnuts or corn, that is very most popular one in Korea, or uh, lotus feathers or any, there are so many kinds of makgeolli in Korea. So why do Koreans drink makgeolli on a rainy day? Just because, that's the answer. Right, because uh, but I'm gonna think about like this way. Uh, in ancient times, on rainy day, Koreans did. Uh, there's nothing to do. There was nothing to do on rainy day because uh, no work, especially no farming. So maybe drinking, uh, drinking something at home is uh, their little pleasure on their holidays, special holidays for special pals. So, and then for that part, makgeolli is for ordinary people. That means it's cheap. And it was a chip, but now it very depends on uh, its cost. Anyway, that's because drinking makgeolli on a rainy day becomes a cliche on Korean rainy day. That one is good food for makgeolli. Here's the answer, pajeon. Do you know pajeon? And it's a chon. Chon is a Korean traditional food, and I will let you know how to make it. First, you should make a liquid paste mixed with uh, water, flour, and salt. And then mix that paste with some other ingredients like uh, vegetables, or fish, or meat. Anything you can put it in that paste. And then broil it on oily old fried fan. And that's all. It's very delicious. Right? And like a makgeolli, uh, there are a lot of different vari variations on chon, that food. Like uh, if you just put into pepper, it becomes a pepper jan, we call it gochujang. Or also if you put it some meat and then we call it it's gogi jan. Or if you put out some kimchi, you know kimchi, right? And then if you put the kimchi in that, and then we call it kimchi jan. So say that uh, Korean people love chon. It's very delicious. And then most of all, uh, when they drink makgeolli, people love hemul pajeon. Do you know what hemul pajeon means? Hemul is a seafood and pa means a green onion. So it means the chon with seafood and green onion. So chon is a very oily food. So when they eat oily food, it's good for, you know, oily food is very suitable with the seafood, right? So that's why people like it. And then especially when we drink makgeolli, and then oily food is very good for. So 
Hamlet Pajan and Makgeolli is a real good friend. They're best friend, right? It's a perfect combination. So on rainy day, we, we, uh, if you have, especially Korean, have uh, Makgeolli and Hamlet Pajan, it's the perfect scene on, in Korean rainy day. So that's why people look for it. Some Korean famous food don't shoot for foreigners, especially. I think it's a, uh, the famous example is a kimchi or a soju. Right, um, but in Makgeolli or John, in that case, uh, even foreigners I've seen a lot of times, and even foreigners, my foreign friends, they really love it. Every time I bring them to that pub, and then they really enjoyed it at that moment. So, uh, if you had a chance to visit, or if you have any idea to visit Korea, uh, I tell you, you should. You bet. I bet you should try Makgeolli in anywhere. And you don't have to look for some special famous restaurant or pub. In everywhere around the world, uh, everywhere around in town, in the small little bars in town, they sell makgeolli. So you can taste it. And it's very cheap. So you don't have to look for expensive things. Maybe if you have a time, you can just look for very different kinds of pubs and bars. But especially, the first step is to visit a small little pub and try to drink makgeolli. And then if they had, and then you try to add uh, john too. Here's one tip uh, for enjoying john in right way. So when you visit restaurant or pub, order 모듬 전. Do you know 모듬 means a uh, made dish? So if you order 모듬 전, and there are very different kinds of uh, chans uh, which they sell in that bar or a restaurant, so you can taste it and you can find your own taste. Right? And also, I really recommend you to try to visit any makgeolli bar or makgeolli pub too. Because when you visit, not only the you know, products which it sells in convenience stores or markets, you can also try real uh, traditional way, uh, handmade makgeollis. And there are very different variations too. So, don't say you know Korean food before you try chan and makgeolli. Right? Okay, that's all today and then I'm going to see you next time too. Okay, bye!